<coughs> we were just talking about uh, risk hypothesis. I'm going to pose this question to you to give your idea of it. What has um, been in the music industry at one point or another? Say it. Uh, Yo, and rap, isn't that dangerous? <laughs> <laughs> and it threw me. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, because you know, I'm old school. If you want to call it that, regular school. I'm like, what do you mean, Dan? He's like, well, y'all getting shot and killed and <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And I thought about it for a moment. And I'm like, wait a minute. Okay. Let's look at this. I think it's probably in, in his entirety, yeah. Rap was built off of a, or MCs battling. Built off a bunch of machismo, braggadocio rhyme, or yeah. whatever of that nature. But it was the option to fight. Right. It, it was the alternative yeah. right. to fight. And it, and it became a healthy competition to sharpen your skill verbally. Yeah. And somehow or other, we went from battling each other to answers and diss records, but nobody's getting killed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. To even if you take, I guess, our biggest, I guess it won't say crime or I don't even know what the right way to call it, with Tupac and Biggie, they went throwing shots at each other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They kept, you can keep a beef on wax. LL and Kumo, you can keep a beef Dude, on wax. You, Kumo D had all the reason to shoot LL with them, <laughs> with them disc records that LL put on them walking with them. <laughs> And them records, they were serious back then, man. You know, Ice T, I guess, LL. Oh, yeah, Ice T. Uh, MC Shan, LL. Yeah. Karis, what? I mean, I guess the closest we got was Karis went to PM Down off the stage. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. You know, but we, but, our, we, but still, even that was just fighting. Right. Where do we go wrong that this new generation mm. now feels that if you diss me on record, when I see you in the street, I gotta take it to that other level. Cause I I, I think I posed to everyone except for me the devil at one point. I remember when the violence, if you was gonna say violence of rap, was in the crowd, not on stage. Mm-hmm. Wasn't about participants of the art. And I, I, it would really shock me that by 2020, two rappers come out and shoot each other on the stage. <laughs> 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 Sir, Haven't they done that already? <laughs> Doesn't somebody do that already? I want to believe so. I, they, I, I must have missed that. Oh, I thought they did uh, somebody did yeah, something. Yeah. So, with that being said, what are oh, they get thoughts? stumped out. They get stumped out. Yeah, they get yeah. 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 yeah, they do that regularly. Yeah. So, what are, you, what, are, what are your thoughts on that? We live in a um, we live in a real touchy feely society, man. And what I mean is, everybody wears they feelings on their sleeves you know and everything is taken so personal and the minute that these have it you know they hear it or whatever it's just immediately some emotional reaction that comes with it and unfortunately man it kind of stems from a lot of these young men not growing up with male role models to tell them hey bro you're acting like a chick you know, man up. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like, you know what I'm saying, give it to him like he gave it to you. You know what I'm saying? The result of always trying to make it violent, man, is really to show them how tough you really are. You know what I'm saying? And and it's funny because that's always the quick end result to I'm not as good as him. And they don't want to, that's all it really just boiled down to. Meek Mills wanted to run up on Drake because he didn't want to admit that Drake was just better than him. You know what I'm saying? Instead of going home and write better rhymes. Right. Sure. You know what I'm saying? This is no disrespect to Meek because I think he's good. He just didn't have it when it came to He just ran and, you know what I'm saying? He just ran into Michael Jordan at the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So it was just. You know, not not to sound long-winded or whatever, I just think the sensitivity came in the game with these younger cats, these new last decade cats, you know what I'm saying, where everything is personal, you know what I'm saying? And then they took out the entertainment factor of it, 
you're not who you are on your record. Stand, stand I'm for, sorry. A stage persona versus the real person. Yeah, you're not. Arnold Schwarzenegger wasn't Terminator. <laughs> Trust me, he wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they believe their own hype so much <laughs> yeah. that they start to. It's almost like a. It's almost like a person tell a lie for so long it become a <laughs> truth. Yeah. yeah. That's how they, it's like, they've been saying that they're said A, B, or C person for so long that they actually believe all the hype that they said on record to be true. And now they got to defend the lie because if they expose the lie, it calls into question their whole career. But the listener really don't care either way around. Why do the music continue? Dude, two of our best that birth this came out of this this birth canal of this game called hip hop was Biggie and Pop. The game moved on. It didn't die when they died. So they death 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 period that way is senseless. Okay, uh, Uncle Ray JTL, you got any thoughts? Yeah, I, uh, I think it's that that you know how you be. On, have you ever been hung on the street a little bit? I'm better than you. You better than me, and I'm gonna prove that I'm better than you. Yes, sir. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you hard. I'm harder, and I'm gonna show you right now. Bow, bow, bow. You know what I mean? Yes, I like, get back. You know what I mean? That's all it is, man. You know, yes, on wax. Yes, you know what I'm saying? So it's like what they say, life. Okay, you're not, you're not. Oh, yeah, yeah, like not art imitating uh, life. You know what I mean? Because these guys on the screen, they serious. You know what I mean? When they gonna get their bag, they gonna get it. You know what I mean? So now you're in a rap game trying to rap for some money, and these guys know you're getting it. So, hey, if I take you out, that boosts me up. That's why you got the average guy killing these little rappers. You know what I mean? They just robbing for nothing. That guy, what's, what's the last guy that got killed? Yeah. Down in, huh? Was the, uh, no, no, I'm talking about the guy down in Miami. Oh, yeah. Hey, um, with the uh, ex, ex, ex extension. Yeah, extension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. yeah. He, he, he posted this stuff, didn't he? Right. Come on, yeah. man. That mean that push that push him up. You know, when he go to prison, he gonna be like, I mean, I killed the extension. You know what I'm saying? So I'm bigger than him. I took him out. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm bigger than you. I took you out. Until, you know what I'm saying? Until the other multi murderer get there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but who who want to be a part of that though? You know what I mean? You know, um, now I think we're in a time where it's a lot of uh, independence going on, and it's a lot of independent owners of businesses and music. You know, they take everything to their own hands now. But back in the day, you had handlers, you had people that was in the, you know, in the mix of stuff happening. Even with the Biggie and Pac thing, uh, it was people that knew what was going on, you know, as far as the, the big execs, but they kind of still shielded a lot of stuff from happening. Uh, you don't really have that now. You have a straight, uh, I can get right to you. Off the corner? Yeah, off the corner? Yeah, yeah, I can get right to you. Off the right corner, now, straight you know to I mean? your mama house. You know, right now, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm live right I'm now. You know where I'm at. You see what I'm saying? So, some, yeah. someone to happen, it, it could happen. Because, yeah. like, for us, the game was so new and young, our only choice was to learn it from OGs. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, young cats is teaching young cats mm -hmm. the business. Yeah. So, they're not coming to you, me, and, and cats like us. No, y'all old school. We old school. We don't know how it goes. So <laughs> okay. Go, forget about all the success and everything. Your way was your way. Though. I know. But we do it this I know, way. I know man. that's right. <laughs> so they go to that 30 year old knucklehead yeah. and say, man, I'm trying to be like you. So now they adopt his philosophy of the mm -hmm. business and he out. And like you said, now it's so accessible. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So now mm -hmm. it's like, they want the world to know everything they doing. Yeah. yeah. Then I'm here. They hit the door. They going live. Yeah. They 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 tan their location. Yeah. So now they can put your hand on. It. Yeah. I remember a person had to call another person to call another person to let you know mm -hmm. that Freak yeah. Nasty was at with the little, mm -hmm. little uh, club on um, Columbia. Columbia. Oh, the gate. Yeah, the gate. The gate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't even, you know, unless he walked past Greg Street and Greg said, oh, we got Freak Nasty in the house. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. But if you had no live remote, man, it wasn't no Instagram or none of that no, jazz back man, then. we had had this Can back you imagine? <laughs> well, we would have got COVID. Oh, we. <laughs> you know, a lot of 
watch though. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the major difference because I don't think you know these young artists don't realize how powerful uh, social media is, uh, and it's in their hands. Like it's like having your own personal cameraman right on you at all times. And yes. Back in the day, to have a cameraman was like heaven. You know what I mean? So right. that wasn't happening. But now everything is just so popcorn. It just it happens so quick. But you gotta understand when you post where you at. They know where you at. Where you at? Right. <laughs> they know. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, okay. That's, That's real. That's real. Next day, it's top of the hour. It's four fifty nine a.m. You're listening to uh, the after set, and we're gonna get into uh, some more things you got to do in uh, the back of the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Those who have been traditionally denied.